It is Wednesday, the 27th day of April 2011. We're going to be live here for at least the next three hours. He predicted it with precision. It's now happening. Porter Stansbury will be joining us, economic uh, researcher and um, journalist, in the last 30 minutes to talk about the massive acceleration and the decline of the dollar. Lord Christopher Monckton will pop in for 30 minutes in the middle of the next hour. Uh, to continue to break down the moves towards global government because we ran out of time last week. Philip J. Berg, uh, the lawyer who, if you got to pick one person to be the father of the birther movement, it's Philip J. Berg. He's joining us coming up in the next segment. Man Cal Muller also uh, scheduled to be popping in later in the hour to give us his brief take on things and Webster Griffin Tarpley. Obviously, uh, Donald Trump, big Democratic Party donor, Globalist, uh, penny stock man, uh, eminent domain lover, uh, gun grabber, socialist health care supporter, uh, being worshipped by Republicans right now, just looking for somebody with slick talk to save them, just like you look for slick talk with Obama to save you. They're all puppets, and I have said here on air repeatedly that I think it's another Ross Perot type situation to take votes away. Uh, from a person like Ron Paul or, or somebody else if the system doesn't like them. And so another third-party candidate like uh, uh, Bloomberg who can self-finance could uh, also do, do that on the left if they want him to. And he's basically a spoiler uh, in there. This is a guy who gives big money to Chucky e. Schumer, all of it. And uh, the way he was having a press conference about the birther issue, and then boom, Obama comes out smiling like the Cheshire cat, uh, saying, oh, hey, <laughs> we're releasing this information now. Knowing full well there will now be a huge debate about the photo, not a, even a scan, it's a photo. You can see that with the shadows and the lettering. Uh, we've had our Photoshop people look at it. It's a photo of whatever this is. So it'll keep the controversy going. It'll only intensify it. I've got a lot of questions about it. But as I've always said, two things are going on here. We, we don't know which one. But we do know they've been covering up his college records, his uh, childhood records, uh, his Indonesian records. We know he did change his name to Barry Sotero. We know he did become an Indonesian citizen, and there's statements to that effect, but they, they, they've erased those documents, and that would make it where he wasn't eligible. So they're busy distracting us with the birth certificate, as Wayne Madsen said here in the last 30 minutes of the broadcast yesterday. Investigative journalist, he said, I believe that he was born in Hawaii, but that there is a cover-up going on. So two things are happening. We know there's a cover-up. Was there a cover-up because he wasn't born in Hawaii? Or was there a cover-up because they don't want the other records looked at? And, and, and within those two points, were they covering it up to create this non-issue distraction later? And an example of that, to, to boil it down and, and, and make it simple... Ken Starr uh, and the tens of millions they spent going after Clinton wasn't for missile secrets, wasn't for murders, wasn't for corruption and for bribery and Whitewater and Arkansas and the rest of it. It was for Monica Lewinsky and the lies, the special prosecutor, uh, the court case, because a sexual case with Paula Jones or with uh, Monica Lewinsky, that can be limited just to Bill Clinton. But when you've got all these other dirty hands with the Republicans involved and Rumsfeld transferring nuclear reactors in North Korea and Clinton involved, you can't have investigations about all that and espionage against this country by the globalist, transferring us deeper into the world government, getting rid of Glass-Steagall, all complicit with both parties' leadership. But if it's about sex, then you can go after Clinton with a big political diversion just on that issue and then make all the other crimes of the rest of the government be all about Clinton and put it on Clinton. Not that Clinton's a good guy, but he's a puppet, a birdcage liner that they wanted to then put all the blame on to put a new one in, George Herbert Walker Bush and then Barack Hussein Obama, Barry Sotero. So that's what's happening here. We'll break it all down. Jam-packed transmission today. We'll be right back. Stay with us.